Hi, I'm Brian Lape, and today I'm coming to you at F5.6 on a Nikon D7000. All right, as always, we've passed the intro. I think I've settled on going to say something in the intro in this, and we're going to hit the timer. It's starting to become a trademark of sorts. I don't know, maybe. Uh, Taylor. Uh, I don't know who, that's all I know. It's not tailor-made, but it is made in China. Tailor-made is like a brand, actually, isn't it? I don't know, maybe I'll look it up. It's like six bucks at Meyer or something like that. Um, oh, yes, topic. So, last weekend, or I should say, I don't know what they, this is the, the 20th, so last weekend was the 13th and 14th and 15th of August 2011, I was in Miami. I was also there on the 12th, did some geocaching, unlocked the North Carolina badge, my Florida badge. Unbelievable how where my mind goes sometimes. So right about here is what I would have normally said cut and we'll start over, but I'm going to leave all that in. So why in the world was I in Miami, Florida in the sweltering heat and the late afternoon storms, down, basically in the... Um, I always say the the downtime in Miami, the the not everything's not so expensive because there are hardly any tourists here because it is so hot. And why three days? I mean, come on! It was a weekend and a Monday, and you flew back, and you had a bad headache Tuesday, and you couldn't do this, and you couldn't do that. Well, it was for Top Gun training. Now, I don't mean handguns or anything like that, but it was for some serious marketing training. We went over emails and video and all kinds of great stuff and I have a six page to-do list and this is one of the to-dos but as I had mentioned previously it was really a leadership training seminar for those who were paying attention one of the things that I like to do many times is watch a group dynamic I, I don't know exactly when I developed this desire I remember about 10 11 years ago that we I was in a training session for leadership training and I was really confused. I had gone to sit, this was like a eight, nine week course, and after about three or four sessions, maybe even longer, I had no clue where this was going for leadership. About community building and, and interpersonal relationships, and it was just like, this isn't work, this is. And we're in a circle, and I leaned back, just stretching. It allowed me to get a perspective as an outside observer to this circle. And it was a big circle. There must have been 20, 30 of us in this circle. You know, in chairs, obviously. We're not sitting on the floor singing Kumbaya or something. And in an instant, I mean, it was that quickly, I was like, holy cow. I see it now. And so because of that, many times I'll remove myself from a group, even while I'm in the middle of the group. I don't have to get outside of it. It does help some. Two minutes, ten seconds. Um, in fact, Ta-da! Now I can look at the camera and know how much time I have to talk. And I got less than two minutes. So I, I removed myself outside of this. And I'm going to talk a bit more about this in another video because just not enough time. But I can remove myself out from this situation. And I can watch the leaders, watch the people running the seminar and exactly what's going on. And that's exactly what happened, especially on the Sunday session. I was asked by uh, one of the leaders to take some pictures. He had a bunch of pictures of the other guys. There were three of them speaking. And he didn't hardly have any of him. Why? Because it's his camera. And it's an SLR, digital obviously. And it's amazing all the, the digital cameras people have nowadays, how few people know how to look through a viewfinder. And so I did. I took some pictures and, of him and, and speaking obviously just stills. And it allowed me to get outside of that. And, and then on the Monday session with Greg... Davison, I was able to see that even more clearly. I watched how he has he controlled the group dynamic with multiple per, with different personalities in there, and how he was able to keep the meetings to the topic and keep things going and progressing through the day. It was fantastic. So I'd like to say that I was in a really good leadership training seminar last weekend and uh, there was some training on marketing and so I'm gonna do a uh, better job in the next video of
talking about that and what I really thought, more of a testimonial, and I don't care if I go five minutes or two minutes, it doesn't matter, but unbelievable, incredible, and all that good stuff on the leadership side. Then we'll talk more about the actual training that happened. So now we have 10 seconds. I don't want that thing going off right next to the speaker, or the microphone, rather. See, I don't even know what I'm saying. Some of you are wondering, oh, who's this guy? This is more my personality coming out because under the covers, I'm just a goofball, lovable one, but a goofball. Ask anybody. All right, out of time. Till next time, this is Brian Lake signing off.